In this video, I will derive the following algorithm to fix this case. Of course, if the proper single slice version is used, we can also make this a quote unquote pure edge flip. And that is what we will really build on, and then we can apply y turns later. But anyway, this is the algorithm, commonly referred to as Lucas parity. Before we even begin, I must mention that if you have not seen my derivation video on the standard single edge flip algorithm, then you must go watch that before you watch this video because this video builds directly from that. You will be lost otherwise. Starting off with the algorithm in wide turns, just as shown, we need to get rid of these wide turns. It may not be obvious for those who have never seen the single slice version of this algorithm before, but this is the following single slice version. Notice the L and X are merged to R. This is because when you do LW and X on a 4x4, it's equivalent to RW. That's what makes this algorithm so fast. It's because of that conversion. Similar to the derivation video for the standard algorithm, I'm going to rewrite the single slice version in a manner for which we can see setup moves. However, since we have X cube rotations on the inside to help us execute this algorithm faster, we're going to remove them because that's not important for us to derive it. In fact, it may even be a distraction. So I'm going to write the equivalent of it without the cube rotations. And then from this point, I'm going to take it, I'm going to rewrite it as follows. As you can see, we have setup moves and an internal algorithm, just like we did for the standard algorithm. Of course, now we have setup moves broken into two pieces for simplicity. We know the result of this entire algorithm. So now we're going to take just this piece, omitting the outermost setup moves, and applying it to a cube to see what we get. We get this result. This looks no different on a 4x4 super. The pieces that are obviously not solved are the ones affected. Unlike the standard algorithm, which the outermost setup moves took care of setting up the centers and edges simultaneously, the outermost setup moves for this algorithm only set up the centers because the two individual edge cubes in the same composite edge are already swapped. Hence, we need to understand how these setup moves work. To do this, we can start off with a clean cube and execute the outermost setup moves. These two center blocks are set up just as shown here, where these two are swapped, and if we set them up that way, then the black will swap with black. And this edge right here, this composite edge, is still together and when we swap them with each other and we then undo these outermost setup moves, we still have all edges paired and therefore we have a success. So now, removing the setup move R2 to only have this piece, which we really need to work on, we have this result, where a single edge QB is in the front top left 
or top left front, however you want to think of it. And then the other one that's involved, the other edge that's involved is in the bo back bottom right. So it's diagonally opposite to it. And the two centers affected are now next to that one, while again, this one is by itself. So the way that the R2 setup move works, if we do, we put this edge right here. So that the same two color edges will swap with each other. And in addition, these two centers will swap with each other down here because before we do it, these two centers swap with each other. Hence, the explanation of the setup moves. So now we will derive this algorithm piece. removing everything else from what we need to derive and putting it in the top so we can start from scratch. We take the commutator that was derived in the standard single edge quote unquote flip algorithm. So now what we're going to do from here is take the inverse of this commutator just as we did for the standard single edge flip algorithm And now, before we begin, we have a restriction we must meet. Seeing the full Lucas parity single slice version algorithm, notice that we have a slice turn and then a 180 degree phase turn, slice turn, 180 degree phase turn, and so forth, all the way through the algorithm. Now, as opposed to that, when we had the standard algorithm, Besides the setup moves, which have a 180 degree face turn right next to another 180 degree face turn about a different face, besides those, this algorithm, the standard algorithm piece, has an interior one as well. But in Lucas parity, every other half turn move is a slice turn. So this is the main difference between the standard algorithm and this one and it will produce a much greater result so deleting that and that we have that in mind now we begin